Class President. Okay, class, that's all for today. Before you all go, there's something this school has been lacking. Eldorado stew, right? I love Eldorado stew too, but no. There's something we all need to do. The time has come. We must choose Wondermont's first class president. What's a class president? They help out around school. They go to the magic shops with us. That doesn't sound like a heroic job. Who wants to go shopping? Going shopping, huh? To help carry our purchases back home, yes. And the class president will represent the class at the ceremonial gala of wizardry schools. Who wants, Who wants that? that? A gala sounds really nice. Oh, and I almost forgot. Our first class president will have their portrait hung in the school corridor. Beautifully framed, of course. Uh. Hmm. It's obvious, isn't it? That I should be class president. Oh yeah, why? First off, because I'll look so good in the super beautiful new dress I made. And second, because I picked out the most perfect gems for my tiara, so my portrait would be best, since it will look nice in the corridor. I don't think we should choose based on the portrait. That shouldn't decide who's president. But just imagine it. The ceremonial gala's red carpet. My new outfit would look amazing. As soon as they see it, it'll take their breath away. And then one by one, they'll all be overwhelmed with delight. That tiara's gonna fall off with your nose so high in the air. I am going to win. And shopping with the teachers will be my job. The immortal and the professor, what time do they usually do their shopping? During our classes, right? Uh-huh. Perfect. That means I can cook class and have a good excuse for it. <laughs> okay, girls, who are you voting for? The fashionable one? Or the lazy one? Vosco, Levon, who are you voting for? The one who's better at soccer, right? I'll vote for whoever can cook me Eldorado stew for dinner. Yeah, the flavor is famous even in the Kingdom of Seven Peaks. Though chopping an exploding pepper needs real master chef skills. <laughs> I don't suppose anyone here would dare to cook it. Hmm. Are you sure this is worth it, Rooney? I want to be class president, so it's worth it. Keep right on wanting, because oh. I'm going to win. <laughs> the magical Eldorado exploding <sighs> pepper. This is what gives Eldorado stew its one of a kind flavor. It's all for me. No, it isn't. It's mine. No. Watch out! <gasps> the exploding pepper requires careful and precise handling. <laughs> ah! uh, ooh, it's got an explosive flavor too. Girls, did you do this? We need to clean it up as soon as possible. Not we, her. She did it. Make her clean it all up. Oh, yeah? You sorted it. Blech. Oh. Don't worry, I'll help you. I don't understand how to solve this alchemy problem. I'll give you a hand as your future class president. Not that I understand this either. If you don't understand it, I'll help her out. And then Domo will vote for me, right? That's not true. Oh. Give me that inkwell. Ah! Wow, thank you, Helen. My dress! Rooney, look what you have done! Me? Look at this mess. I have to redo everything because of you. Maybe I won't have homework as president. I'll bring those in for you, Professor. No, I should get that for you. It's okay, girls. There's plenty of boxes. Just take care with them. That's all I ask. That bottle, for example, holds mockingbird mist. If you breathe that stuff in, it makes your voice change. Ah! <gasps> well, the mockingbird mist is gone. I just asked you to be careful. It's Lisa's fault. How was I supposed to be careful when she was getting under my feet like that? I'm as careful as they come. It's your fault for bumping into me. Now. <gasps> oh. Thank you, dear Helen. When I'm class president, we'll be allowed to stay up all night if we want. Just wait and see. And when I'm class president, we'll have more holidays than anyone in the world. Oh. 
Why argue about it? If you want to know who will be class president, you just have to look into the magic well that tells the future. Hmm. Aha! You're here too! <gasps> To a frog, then I can pull you out. <sighs> ah, thank you so much. You've been so helpful today. I'm here to announce the results of the election. By unanimous decision, we have chosen a class president. It's you, Helen. While Rudy and Lisa were bickering, you were actually helping out. Even Lisa and I voted for you, and we made up too. Okay, I'll try to be a great president. In honor of this happy event, may I offer a celebratory dinner? Ah, I realize I completely forgot to tell you. My own Eldorado stew will be served tonight. Yay! A big adventure. I proudly present the newest additions to our museum. Unique finds from our hierological expedition. Bracelet of Thumbelina. Wow, she must have been tiny. The armor of Firewing the 39th. Now he was a big hero. Look at the size of that. Hm. Size isn't everything. Maybe his brain was as small as Thumbelina's bracelet. Now that's more like it. The shield of Brunhilde the Clever. Legend has it that Brunhilde was both smart and tough. It's a little odd. Nothing here actually specifies her height. <sighs> I couldn't lift that shield if I wanted to, much less do anything heroic with it. I know, right? I can't lift my youngest brother's shield. How will we be heroes without shields? We have some growing to do. I might have an idea. Let's meet here when class is over, and I promise you will be able to lift any shield. Hmm, they don't know a thing about magic. Fawning over that metal junk and not even a glance at the bracelet. That thing can shrink anything down, as small as you want. Is that a speck of dust there? No, it's the immortal. I want that. So small, but so special. And they're kidding if they're unguarded. And that concludes today's little museum artifact tour. It's lunchtime. <gasps> oh. <laughs> hmm, clever of him. Hmm. What we need now is... We need someone who is small. Someone like... Ah, oh, a raven! <laughs> and a frog, too. And a spider. There. You're going to be my very own soldiers. My evil heroes. <laughs> I'm your commander-in-chief now. You'll obey my orders. I could barely sit still in class. Okay, we're ready. Show us what you've got. Look, gingerbread men taught me how to make enlarging and shrinking magic cookies. You can grow as big as you want with these and pick up whatever shields you like. A bite of this one and you grow. Eat this one and you shrink. That is, if I didn't mess up the recipe. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And it's in the name of science. <gasps> oh, put that bracelet back immediately! Quick, the shrinking cookie! <laughs> hey, stop! <sighs> That's my old hairpin! And the professor's favorite spoon! Uh, this is a sticky situation! Well, it's not Brunhilde's shield, but it suits me fine! <sighs> okay, thief, this is your final warning! You know you can't hide from me in the library! I know every page in here. Oh, gotcha! Hoist the sails! Full speed ahead, set a course for the end of the chapter! I'm shipwrecked. There it is! Hey, stop! Got you at last! Give us the bracelet! Oh. Ah, ah. They've got a whole forest gang! But why the bracelet? Because animals don't wear jewelry. Baba Yaga! That glow, didn't you see it? 
She's bewitched them to get to that bracelet. Quick, put me up on the window and call Chirpy. Chirpy! Hello, Chirpy. We'll go with you. This is no job for giants. Stay here and warn the others. Baba Yaga is up to something. All around is wonderful stories. Some are strange, but none of them boring, yeah. We're always hungry to know more. Learning all the spells we believe in. Secrets of the universe, even, yeah. We're gonna open up the door. When times are tough, we gain. Enchanted helper. Thumbelina's bracelet is now Baba Yaga's ring. <laughs> what should I shrink now? Oh, I know. Everything. <laughs> Great work. I'm promoting you all to general. Meet tonight at Wonderbond School. Then we'll decide what to do with our miniature immortal. <laughs> Still. No. First reverse. <laughs> oh, come on, you little. Big things come in small packages. Oh, I won't say goodbye. I left a pot on the stove. You all just got lucky. Daria, for someone so small, you've shown enormous courage. So, perhaps Wondermont has found its own Bruhilda or its own Thumbelina. Because, you see, heroes don't have to be big. That's why Thumbelina's tiny bracelet is every bit as valuable as that giant shield. Oh, that little menace. I had all these good ideas and she ruined them. <laughs> oh, well, at least I have my soldiers. Ah. Oh. Oh. True talent. I have some news. There will be a magical talent show here at our school tomorrow afternoon. And I expect that you girls will have no problem competing for the top prize. Hooray! This is great! I'm so excited! I wonder where the final round of the contest will take place. When I get there, I'll send you a postcard. Maybe you should try winning before making victory plans. For this competition, we're all rivals. So if any of you forget a spell, don't expect for me to help you. Good thing I don't need your help. Girls! Last night I heard a song in my dream. Let's sing together. Ah, every, every princess, princess for herself. herself. It's my one-of-a-kind acrobatic talent. Come on, step right up. You'll be amazed. I plan to utilize my studies and knowledge. I will answer any question from the Encyclopedia of Magic. Well then, why don't we begin training? I will impress everyone with my new dress. Come along, magical needles. Go to work. Mirror, mirror, full of light. Bring my copies to light. Yay, it worked. Now we can sing my song. What? Did they forget who the true talent of Wondermont is? Here's a gift from me. With this, all magic within your school will cease to work properly. <laughs> and then I alone will take the stage. Baba Yaga on her broom. What beautiful music. It must be Helen. <gasps> What's that? Someone crying? Is Owl stuck in a trumpet? I'm sure Helen is merely tuning her instruments. <laughs> Don't be oh. alarmed, Professor. They are rehearsing. That's enough! Stop! <laughs> Don't you like the author? Um, it was more like a small disagreement. That wasn't the deal. Not to worry. Oh, <laughs> my
it's under control. Princess for herself. We all did. Yes, and now our magic won't work. Hmm, what do we do? Even my tiara has run away. Tiara, please come back to me. Here you go, Lisa. <gasps> Girls, I have an idea. Let's perform without our magic. We could work together. The ball act. What? They found a way? Thank you, girls. What color hood does Little Red Riding Hood wear? Enough! It's my turn. A trick question. Now that dark blue is in fashion, the girl known as Little Red Riding Hood only wears blue hoods. Hey, don't forget me! The most talented act in all of Wondermont! Go, Broom! I said go on! Come on! What is the matter with you? <laughs> Giddy up, partner! What was that? Uh, it was an odd comedy routine with a horse. You may carry on, girls. the one who turned off the magic in the school. And my magic, too. For adventure and freedom you long, I could read until the coming of the bright dawn. What we want is all so different, it seems. Together we can do it all So take my hand and Step into the light Right now our dreams are taking flight As long as you are by my side I know the magic won't ever die Step into the light Right now our dreams are taking flight This is the first time I haven't seen any magic Used in this contest. I know the magic won't ever die. You've impressed us with the most important magic, the magic of friendship. And so all the princesses will go to the final round. <laughs> Forget me not. the exam. I'm coming. What a pain. Oh, great. Our game's ruined. Uh. Mm. You too? I was going to study later anyway. It's just on magical trees. How hard could it be? Oh, that's the book. Magical Trees, an introductory course. Eternal apple trees, they always bear fruit. Ah, oh, candy trees, tree of knowledge. Oh dear. Right, what else does it say? The forget-me-nut, an endangered species with small blue flowers. Huh, that's funny. I saw some blue flowers today. Does that mean we have one of these trees? The nut improves memory and makes it possible to store massive amounts of knowledge. Of knowledge! Archie, that's exactly what we need! I could memorize everything. Now, where's that nut? It's my only hope! Hmm... Is it? Yes! I'll eat it up and get an A 
away for sure. Only one nut falls every hundred years. Therefore, it is extremely important as a counter to the forgetfulness spell. Hmm. No fair. I found the nut, so 100 years or not, it's mine. Suppose trouble will fly in if I don't get lunch ready soon. But what for dessert? Oh, walnut pie. That's what I'll make. Well, what about raspberries? Oh, no. Walnuts are perfect. Vitamins, micronutrients. Want to help? The magic one has to be here. That's all empty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, no matter. Raspberry it is. Archie, are you still mad at me? It's just I have to pass that exam, no matter what. It's the immortal's favorite subject. Anyway, you can't memorize that book in just one night. I know. I'm doomed. Good, Daria. Perfect. Now, who's next? You can do it, Rooney. Don't be afraid. Uh. <laughs> it's the forget-me-not. Princess Rooney, is something the matter? Aren't you ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready. The forget-me-not is a tree with pale blue flowers. It blooms year-round. Its fruit helps you memorize things. Rooney, excuse me. Ah, a very rare occurrence. And it just happens to match your topic. So let's continue this exam outside, shall we? But sadly, only one nut grows every hundred years, so it's very rare. Excellent, Rooney. You've earned a top grade all around. That 100-year wait is now over. Ta-da! Oh! <gasps> Enter. What is it? Mr. Immortal, I have to confess. I tricked you. The nut you've got is not the magic one. I ate the magic one because I wanted an A, but it didn't work. Rooney, I'm very glad that you found the courage to confess. I'm proud of you. Well done. But that nut is gone. No. How? This nut isn't the magic one. How could it show up in the tree again? Archie has returned the nut. Hooray! Archie, save the nut! From me. Mr. Immortal, I promise I will never do this again. Can I retake the exam? <laughs> of course, but no shortcuts this time. <laughs> Flotation fever. It seems poor Dorma has caught a cold. See here? She's running a high fever. Will she be okay? She will be fine, Helen. It's only a fever. All she needs is some rest. However, it may affect Dorma's magical power. There is a possibility that her dreams could become real. Then let's monitor her. We'll take turns. And if something happens, we'll wake her. That way, the dream will stop. All right, then. I'll go first. Thank you, Helen. Well, then, let us go. Very good. Now, should you see anything strange, please gently wake Dorma. Rooney, it's your turn. 
turn. Oh, it's such a nice day today. I wish it was raining. Then I wouldn't mind being stuck indoors so much. Huh, fine then. Oh dear. Don't worry, Dorma. I'll go and get my ball fast as I can. And be right back, promise. <laughs> it's so hot here. Strange. Oh no, Teddy! You poor thing, you must be so hot. Hold on, I'll help you get out of there. Oh, oh thank goodness. I never knew that I could do such a thing, Teddy. The girls will certainly be surprised when I show them. Let's clear the floor before it burns. wanted to be here, but she stayed with Dorma instead. She's such a good friend. She's so loyal and trustworthy. What is she dreaming about? Dorma! Dorma, come back! <gasps> oh, no! Somewhere safe first, and then we can wake her. I have an idea. Good thinking, Helen. Be careful. Don't accidentally wake her. Helen, do you think you can help me up there? Maybe if I steer the bed, we can get it through the window. You've got it. Brilliant. Be careful. Okay? Quiet. <gasps> oh, oh no! <sighs> it's snowing. Our stuff outside. 
Did I really do that? You certainly did. And now Rooney is going to fix it by going outside and cleaning everything up. Oh, no! Happy Snowland Day. table right here. On second thought, right here. Okay, what's next on our list? In the evening, I'll be teaching everyone how to do a winter dance. Winter dancing. Uh -oh. Flying gifts aren't on my list. My grandma sent it. It's a whatever gift. A whatever gift? Oh, I've read about those. A whatever gift grants whatever wish the person who opens it has. Wow, you could wish for anything you want. <gasps> Like the most beautiful dress ever! No, five of the most beautiful dresses! I want a straight-A pen, the kind that does all of your homework for you. An invisibility blanket that no one can wake me up to early. I've always wanted eye slippers. Or a magical shawl. One that stretches as long as I want and can cover all my friends. Done dreaming, then it's back to work. Magical gingerbread. This is a special recipe from my home kingdom. They're rice stars filled with soft caramel. Mr. Immortal, sir, do you have any of those flying cards left? I'd like to invite all our friends to celebrate the holiday. Of course. Here. The recipient of these cards will be instantly transported to where they were invited. And the cards can fly wherever you wish. <gasps> Quickly, grab it! Mr. Immortal, I can't find it anywhere! <laughs> I don't get what's going on. Why are they having a picnic in the middle of winter when it's so cold out? <laughs> you wonder what Helen is going to choose when she opens up her whatever gift. A whatever gift? Who would give one of those to a child? They'll use it for something silly. I must save it. And use it for something sensible. Oh! Fly east, fly west, and invite all our guests, as quick as can be, to the holiday tree. A flock of cards pass across the cold winter skies. Happy Snowland Day. <laughs> now you're in good hands. <laughs> Give you any gift, especially not this whatever gift. What's a holiday without a chase? Ah! Ooh, to the right! Oh, I mean to the left! Huh? <gasps> ah! 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 Did you get it? Not yet. Try again. <laughs> a flying caramel. <laughs> She stole the gift and ate all of our treats, too. Bye now. Doria, can you send that flock of cards to Baba Yaga? Sure. Oh, go away. I don't want to come to your party. My gift! We did it! It at all. Lovely decorations. The party looks great. Where are the children? The guests are late too. Now, don't you worry. I'm sure the guests will arrive soon and that the hey, kids are simply. We're back! There they are. We chased Baba Yaga and the flying carpet froze. And we were like, whoosh! It was so cool. We had to walk back. But look, we saved your whatever gift. Now you can get your slippers. The most important thing is you're safe. I can open my gifts after the guests arrive. The guests? The guests aren't coming. 
We used the cards to get Baba Yaga. We tried to get back in time to send out new ones, but we didn't make it. Then nobody else is coming? <gasps> Mr. Immortal, can the Whatever Gift really grant whatever wish you have? Yes, it can. Whatever you wish for. <laughs> then I know what to wish for. Is it the shawl? No, the slippers. My wish is for everyone I invited to come here right away. <gasps> the six-legged beast! It worked! <laughs> Professor! <laughs> So glad to see me. After all, I have an invitation. Oh, oh, oh that tickles. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Happy Snowman Day! The Book of the Future. I passed my test. Oh, and guess what? The professor said that soon we're probably going to have a new subject. Try to guess what it is. As long as it's not wizard genealogy. Talk about boring. And not ancient incantations. They're all just really long. I always get mixed up by the end. Don't you care what it might be, Daria? I can handle any subject. It won't be a problem for me. The subject of our new class... We'll be learning how to ride magical beasts! Oh, yes. oh no. Doria, what's wrong? That is the one class that I will never ever pass. My report card's going to be ruined. On the other hand, grades don't matter if I get kicked out of school, because I'll never be a rider. It's easier than you think. All my brothers have been riding since they were two. They're always on a horse. Soon they'll forget how to walk. <sighs> Where I come from, it's not the same, though. Wisdom landers are such terrible riders that... We had to invent magic cars. Ow! The Squirrel Express. Fast and furry. I bet the Immortal ordered something valuable. I'm going to follow it and find out. <clears throat> Wisdom landers just aren't meant to ride. And I'm not either. <gasps> huh? From the Central Magical Library, a book of the future on loan for the Immortals' classes on magical divination and... Huh. What's a book of the future? Well, judging by the title, it might be a record of what the future holds. Let's take a look. Maybe you don't need to worry, because what if in the future, you'll be a great rider? Or maybe I will. Daria from Wisdomland, student of Wondermont School and former principal's assistant. <sighs> We'll never become a great writer. Hmm. Well, maybe this book is wrong. And also, why would you need to become a great writer? You could just be kind of good. Or, you know, not bad. Hmm. Well, in any case, let's start practicing now with six paws. For this, we need a pro. I'll go get Helen. At long last, the future is mine. Now bars appear on the school's windows and doors. They cannot be breached. Even by a powerful magic force. Where has the book gone? Uh. <gasps> 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 hey, give that book back! We have to return it to the library! All right, book of the future. You better be wrong about this. <gasps> it worked! Uh, sort of. <laughs> back! I mean, forward! Some princess, look at you. Where'd you learn to ride like that? <gasps> Jump! Manage the tree, okay? How will you do with water? Uh, don't be scared. It's not deep. You can do it. We have to hurry. <laughs> we won't catch her like this. Think, Daria. Oh, we have to use the stones. Okay, listen to me. Left paw forward. And march! Right, middle, back, 
Left, middle, left, right. Uh. Whew, done. You did a great job. Now we'll really live it up in a palace. I'll be principal of a school of evil sorcery. Or no, the queen of all Wondermont. Hmm? I'm going to find a good place to hide so I can write our future in peace. And I'll see you before long, my golden beauty. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Dragon. I really, really need your help. I need to fly to the cliffs to save Wondermont's future from Baba Yaga. Uh, that is, if you wouldn't mind. My palace will have five. No, six rooms in it. Or ten. Only ten? More. How about a hundred? I can't decide now. What's better? I could be Queen Yaga. Or the Magnificent Empress. Of Wondermont! <laughs> oh, oh, you will never be an empress! <gasps> ah! Come back this instant! I command you! As Empress of Wondermont, I command you! Mr. Immortal, look what Baba Yaga wrote in there! Doria. Daria has done very well indeed. She saved us all today. Daria, you did a wonderful job. Working with Ms. Dragon and Six Balls. But the Book of the Future said, very clearly in fact, that I'll never be a great rider. The future hasn't happened yet. That's why it's the future. And we can shape it however we choose. The book changes as we do so. Daria from Wisdom Land will be a great rider and will get along with all manner of magical beasts. Well, at least, I've still got this. Uh, oh, that book's just fairy tales. <laughs> the genie. Come on, she's getting away. <laughs> <gasps> ah! This is your last hour. Defend your land. Ooh. <laughs> Beware of evil wizard Rumi. She can destroy us. That is only if she's done running. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's the immortal's favorite face. Uh, do you think he's going to notice? Oh great. We should not have come in here. We know we aren't allowed to play in his office. Oh dear. He's not going to be happy when he sees this. <sighs> no more Grunwald's Gardens field trip. He won't see it. I'll do a quick repairing spell. Earth, water, fire, air, they have the power to repair! You oh, did yay. it! Oh, well done, Rooney! That was great! <gasps> Who could that be? How <gasps> cute! It's a genie! Do you think he grants wishes? Mm -hmm. I call dibs on genie! Listen, I'll wish first. I wish for... Uh, no. I wish for that, uh, what kind of wish should I wish for? Hold on, Rooney. There are different kinds of genes. <gasps> oh, no. I think he found something in there and ate it. Oh, that's not good. Who cares? A genie that little could be a big problem. But we don't know if he could become one. Lisa, let's go to the library and find out how to put that genie back in the vase. You three, find the genie and distract him. And don't tell the immortal. <gasps> he ate my candy! <laughs> my gingerbread as well. Well, yes, he probably hasn't eaten for a thousand years. Here, little genie. <laughs> Have some unpredictable cupcakes. <laughs> and dried plumberries. <laughs> this genie's no big deal. He probably went somewhere else to eat. <gasps> the kitchen! Oh. <laughs> yes, our little problem's not so little now. Girls, maybe we should tell the immortal everything before it gets worse. 
And before the consequences get bigger. Here's a consequence for you. There won't be anything left for lunch if the genie finishes off all our soup. Lure him to the greenhouse. It's full of apples. Doma, can you conjure up a delicious red herring? <laughs> Oh, yeah! Those apples will last him a while. Uh oh. Our little problem's gotten so much larger. <laughs> Want an apple? I've got one here. The drawer is still locked. Do you have the key on you? Shame on you, Archie. Nobody but you could have taken the cookies. So why did you do it? They were his favorite. They had coconut flakes, for the record. It wasn't Archie! The genie ate them! We were accidentally playing in your office and then we accidentally released the genie and then we didn't want to tell you because he was so cute! Okay, reverse spell, stop! Uh There's a genie? The genie from my vase? He'll gobble up our entire stockpile. Okay, Lisa, ready. Pudding, buns, cake! Hey, we figured it out! It's a glutton genie! He's really hungry because he's been hibernating for a thousand years, and he won't go back to sleep until he's eaten all his favorite treats. Lisa, have the tablecloth make some hot cocoa. Mr. Immortal, is this really the right time for hot cocoa? It's not mine. It's to give to the genie. That's always been his favorite. He'll take a sip and go right off to sleep. Mug of hot cocoa! Hmm. <sighs> now, back to your home. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Shh! Don't wake him up. We're, We're sorry, Mr. Mr. Immortal. The more we hoped the little genie would just keep being small, the bigger that he got. Oh, and it ate our lunch and our dinner. And Archie got in trouble for nothing. The whole harvest disappeared. That's how problems are. The more you try to hide them, the bigger and bigger they get. Like a gluttonous genie. So when a problem happens like this, you should come and tell us right away. Yes, then we can work together to fix whatever it is. Mr. Immortal, I guess you don't want to take us on the field trip to Grunwald's Gardens anymore. After all this... Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> if I didn't, where else would we go to get seeds to replace our harvest? Yay! Wish granted! And we didn't need a genie. <laughs> <laughs> the Courageous Feet been more than an hour. She's going to set a new record. <laughs> an hour? I could do this all day. Well, you're good at sticking your nose up. How about this? That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> and I can go even wilder than that, too. Check this out. I've seen it a hundred times. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> I thought I asked you to speed up, not run like your shoelaces are tied together. This thing still needs hatching. What is she carrying? Never mind that. Look what she's running from. <gasps> dragon! dragon! Hurry, hide! Behind my dragon-proof shield! Look, he's got three heads! I'll take the left head, and the other two. You all handle the tail. What if he breathes fire? Don't worry, I'm a fire extinguisher. Let's keep going. It's hero time! For Wondermont! Ready, coming, Dragon! Surrender! Surrender! Where is the dragon? And do not forget to memorize the behavioral features of the Leshy in the spring and in the summer. So, here come our star students who shine so brightly they can't be seen in class. Please let us explain. We were attacked by a dragon. We tried to hide. I mean, fight. 
and defeat him. Defeat a dragon? <laughs> we demolished him too. I hurled my boomerang. And I grabbed his tail. And I put out fires. He won't be coming here ever again. You drove away a dragon? You kids amaze me each and every day. We need to arrange a press conference for you with our best dragon experts. Now, go back to class and write everything that happened to you with as many details as you can remember. Hooray! Awesome dragon experts are coming! Like Firewing, the 39th! Or Martha the Dragon Weaver? They will teach us some cool dragon expert tricks. The Fluttering Master. Uh, 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 <coughs> or the Heroic Capture. Oh, the Sneaky Invisible Princess! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what if we didn't actually scare him and he left on his own? <gasps> Go far. We have to tell Mr. Immortal the truth about what really happened. But then we won't get to meet the dragon experts. You know, I think he wants the ball. He was chasing it before. Stay where you are, and I will conduct a dragonology experiment. Rooney, come back. You'll be eaten. This is a terrible experiment. No way to know until we try. <laughs> A dragon in our classroom? I doubt she was craving knowledge. This has never happened before. It's good that our young dragon experts were here and handled her for us. I must bring them to the Gathering of Heroes. Mm, that's great. Be proud, young heroes. What should we do about the dragon? She's never behaved like this before. Wait, she? Clearly something must have happened. Oh well, perhaps we shrink her to fit into a cage. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Why in a cage? But the dragon didn't do anything wrong! Stop! The dragon's good! Look, over there! Let's go, everyone. I wonder what the dragon's after. It must be something round, like our soccer ball is. Maybe a basketball? Oh, not a ball at all. Watch out! <gasps> of course, a dragon egg. That's what it's looking for. And that's why Mr. Immortal said she. It's a girl dragon. Hey, wait. Remember Baba Yaga? She was carrying something round, and it wasn't a ball. <gasps> and she told the hut to hatch it. It must be the, the dragon's egg. egg. Well, when will it hatch? My very own loyal watch dragon. One head to the north, one to the south, and the third head will be looking to the east. And the fourth is west, I think. Wait, there are only three heads. Am I the fourth head? <gasps> what are you doing here? Oh, and now I only have one head. Make this dragon shrink in size, both height and width, and on all sides. Don't! Kids? Why are you here? Please don't punish the dragon. She didn't attack us. We made it all up. She was looking for this. We're not really dragon experts. We couldn't even tell a girl from a boy. Hmm, well, I'm glad you learned. Your lesson. A hard one. But I'm proud of you for telling the truth. Admitting your mistakes takes courage, not unlike fighting a dragon. You were brave, but the one you should apologize to isn't me, is it? There, our dragon experts have learned a lesson about dragons. That dragons are actually very friendly once you get to know them. The Wondermont Boomerang. Move the Rooney double flying rainbow move. One, two. Hey, hey, hey. One, two, three, four. Ha. Ha. Did you see that? 
He did four full twists. Exactly. It helps you throw the boomerang harder. The El Dorado leap with a surprise. It's the best way to attack dragons, you know. Dragons? Of course. But you won't get kindness from dragons. Once a dragon attacked my home in El Dorado, we shot arrows at it and threw spears, and the thing still got back up. Then the great El Guerrero, our most superheroic superhero, put a spell on his shield. He flew up into the sky on it, and then just like hurled a boomerang. We know about El Guerrero in the Seven Kingdoms. We study his biography in high school. Someday, I'll perform the same kind of feat. If a dragon shows up, I mean. I think you could have just used an ordinary spell for flying lizards. But it's impressive, that's for sure. No one here can do that. Oh, oh yes, they can. I can do a better, even higher jump. Where do you see the trick I can do? Uh, wanna bet? Or is our El Guerrero too scared? Me scared, you say? Eldoradans don't know how to be scared. Keep it up, you're doing great! <laughs> Do one more round! <laughs> hmm, look at that leap, like a grasshopper. But I will be the best. Will you help me? Go find out everything. Why he jumps so well, how he lands, what secrets he has. Everything. Got it? Hey! Huh? <laughs> Bosco, step on it! That's already 2.5 dragon speed! Oh. Hmm. <gasps> Flight enhancer, of course! With this, it's easy to fly like a superhero! Where did the bottle go? It was right here. Well, Mr. Champion, you ready? <laughs> I can't wait to show everyone who the best jumper is. Fine, but I am not going to hold back. <laughs> I'm sorry, but me neither. Just remember, winning isn't everything. Of course it is. Victory is everything, especially mine. We're all ready. Then let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go against traffic. You must follow the traffic rules. <sighs> well, Professor, isn't it just wonderful to ride through the placid sky with a nice cup of hot tea? Yes. We don't often have days like this at Wondermont, when everything is so quiet and peaceful. Ah! Ah! Rooney, give me your hand! And our pupils today are so calm. Smile, smile. And well-behaved. They're growing up, you know. Oh, there's my bottle. Hey, you didn't use it on your disc, did you? So it's fine for you, but not the rest of us. I have every right to enhance my flight, too. <laughs> it really worked out for you, huh? This stuff is for the boomerang. So it flies further and comes back quicker. You see? Your disc is coming back now. Ooh, 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 have some decency! I guess you... saved me. Now I owe you. <laughs> In that case... Why don't you teach me how to do those spins you do? Like the ballerina and the cat's twist. Me? Teach you? Okay, and you can teach me your El Dorado leap with a surprise. No problem. That was amazing, that was really. So cool. Well done, Vasco. What a feat. I couldn't have done it better myself. Your attention, please. Rooney and Vasco present our awesome joint flying disc show. Yes, 
Bravo! It's a real show. So, what do you call your incredible maneuver? Uh, the Wondermond... Boomerang! That's a great title. I'm sure this maneuver is worth including in the Magical Aerial Acrobatics textbooks. <laughs>